Coaches are always looking for improvement from game to game, and that's exactly what Greg Gard got from his squad in the team's second game in New Zealand as the Badgers beat the Breakers 87-53. I thought we could make some monumental jumps from game one to game two, and that was really the challenge with the players that we've got to be better tonight than we were two days ago. And I thought for the most part we were. I was really happy with, with how we learned uh, the things we went over and filmed today uh, and what we needed to improve upon, they definitely concentrated on that and did a good job. After having to come from behind to win game one, the Badgers jumped out to an 11-0 lead in game two and never looked back. I thought we were much more relaxed from the start. Uh, I thought defensively we were uh, really good the whole game for the most part. I think our defensive energy was better. Uh, we learned in, in film today uh, how to get around screens, guard the pick and roll, and. Uh, we really focus on uh, trying to neutralize their best player, and uh, Aleem and many others did a good job of that tonight. One thing that didn't change for Wisconsin, the three-point shooting. UW made 15 threes in game two, and on the trip, the Badgers have hit 25 of 50 from downtown. Yeah, that, that's how it should be every game. Uh, we all trust each other. Uh, we all have uh, faith in each other and trust our talent. So. Uh, if you have an open shot, we're all confident to, to knock it down and let it fly. Obviously, you've got to be sharing the ball in order to get that many open shots. I think this group really played very unselfishly, which is obviously a trademark of our, our program. Um, so I was happy to see everybody get a chance to get in and get in the scoring column. Andy Van Vliet had four of those threes and led the Badgers with 14 points. Wisconsin is now off to Australia for the final three games of the trip. For Wisconsin Athletics, I'm Brandon Spiegel.